Hi, this is Eric Chang. Welcome to Brookfield Amatech. Great. How to measure firmness and shelf life? Can we do that? What could bakery do to ensure that the bread will have the texture that is unique to the brand and control it? The answer is with a texture analyzer. The freshness of bread can be evaluated by the firmness and to a certain extent its springiness. The test is based on the theory that the peak load increases and compressibility decreases as the bread ages. To measure firmness, it is the compression test of the first cycle, while to measure springiness, it is a two cycle compression test, also known as texture profile analysis, short for TPA test. Now this measurement will also tell how springy the sample are. Springiness is defined as the height of which the food recover during the first time that elapsed between the end of the first cycle and the beginning of the second bite cycle. Springiness will reveal how well a sample physically spring back after it has been deformed during the first compression. Now in this test, I'm using the CTX texture analyzer fitted with a 15, 1500 gram force load cell or 1500 gram. Now fitted with the analyzer, I'm using a 36 millimeter AACC spec probe. And then the base table is where I will put the sample onto. Give it a product name, it's called bread. And the first test will be on the fresh bread, right from the back. And I run my test. First test. And the probe will come down, connect, trigger, and it start. It's the first cycle. And now it continue onto a second cycle. Done. The first test is done. So to run a second test, we should be on a stale bread. The bread has been around for almost a week and a half and I call it stale. S-T-A-L-E and run my test. So the first test was on the fresh bread. The second test will be on a stale bread which has been around for a week and a half. And we'll compare between the fresh and the stale bread. So as you can see, the stale bread is blue in color, whereas the fresh bread is red in color. So from the graph, you can see that the stale bread a harder force to compress compared to the fresh bread. And even on a second cycle on the stale bread, it did not recover on the first cycle, and this is the second cycle. So there's a loss on the second cycle, which did not spring back compared to the fresh bread. The first cycle and the second cycle are almost identical. They're quite close. So there is a spring back on the second cycle, which means that it's springy. So for this is how we will, uh, we will compare between a stale and a fresh bread and also the same manner for a shelf life test. So the conclusion is that this is very simple to follow and provide a valuable data related to both the staling and compositional properties of bread. This method can therefore be incorporated with both quality and development program as a mean of optimizing product quality. For more information, please contact us at Amatac Brookfield at www.brookfieldengineering.com or just call us at 800-628-8139. My colleague and I will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you.